Two Sheds Gabby, I am back again for another video. I have gone today to pick up my half dollars. I'm hoping that they are not all brand new so that I can search them and hopefully find uh, some silver and maybe a proof or something else that would be kind of fun. You see over there, there's a bowling ball right there. There's another one right behind it. We got those down out of my attic. I used to bowl in leagues and stuff like that uh, several years ago. I haven't done it for a long time. But I liked having my bowling balls uh, in case my son wanted to go bowling or something. Both of them are cracked. I never even thought of the heat doing that. So frustrating. So I'm just going to dispose of both of them. I got bowling shoes. <laughs> Box one. <laughs> That's not brand new. We got something to search through. That's cool. I opened up the fourth row here and I found this one in there. Looks like it's one of those gold plated ones, but it's been passed around a lot and it's wearing off in places. It's not very, you know, brilliant anymore. You can clearly see the different color of it. I've got a whole roll of these. Most of them are in better shape than this one. Some of them are real nice, but this one's not not quite as nice. Well, I didn't find another thing in uh, box one, so let's open box two. It looks like they're not all brand new. Here we go. Hey folks, <clears throat> I'm about 10 rolls in into the second box. And I might have something that's real dirty, but it's got that look to it. Right there at the end of my thumb. Let's see what we got. Yeah. 67. Well, we got one. I'm not skunked. That's cool. All right. You can't expect to find very much good stuff when almost everything's more than half new stuff. This one has 11. I know I've had at least one roll that had 12, I, maybe more, I don't know, but a lot of new stuff. Frustrating. That's just the way it is. Well, guys, I'm early into the second half, and I think I have another third from the left there. Has that look to it. Kind of the 40 percenter look. 1969D. That's, that's two, and that's cool. Hope, hope I get another, but two is better than zero. I'm going to try to go through my office a little bit and just kind of show you how I do stuff. This is my coin table. A uh, little bit junky still, but oh, uh, this is a neat little thing I can plug in USB or, or outlets and keep stuff charged. It's, I really like that. My light, overhead light, over <laughs> directly overhead. I'm going through a box of 2022 pennies, slowly just looking for oddities. And I got a couple of boxes of pennies uh, to sort through yet. This right here, I keep on here. I keep a couple of lists of um, pennies that, well, if I could ever get to it pennies that I need for some of my books. And I keep, because when I go through stuff, I don't always immediately get everything that I keep put away in the rolls in the safe. So wheat pennies, I have rolls for 40s, 50s, and older. I do the same thing with the three different um, Canadian pennies, and I've got rolls for the older nickels that I keep, and then the one down in there for half dollars in IFCs and, and just other thing like the 2009s. And I just kind of put them in there because I may go through four or five, six boxes before I finally pull out the stuff in the safe and you know, put away. And so that keeps it handy just to keep those up on my table. And then I'll, what do we got here? You know, this is my workstation. I just got finished, uh, Stapling in some coins in my two by twos. And anyway, back there I've got a. Uh, there's me. T 
TV that's not working yet. I can't get it figured out. I or I couldn't find it was it came with the house and I could not find the right uh remote so I ordered a universal and I'm just struggling getting that working. Lily Langtree. <laughs> My printers, I have a couple of businesses. I sell the mats for one thing. And I have to make the mats and I'm constantly printing out labels because I sell equipment for another couple of other companies. That's what one of my sheds outside is for. I just love all the space. I've, this office is so much bigger than my other one. <laughs> I just acquired some boxes for shipping out and they're just kind of laying around. And my desk, my computer desk, just full of great storage. Um, and here I keep, in this box, this used to be when I'd have yard sales, we'd keep our money in there. But I have my books now, my Canadian coin books in there. And this is something that I was talking about in a video earlier. Let me show you that. This is really neat. Putting a lot of my flips in here. Uh, this, I think this was a um, for uh, microscope slides, but these are really great. I, I really like this thing. I've got old quarters, old buffalo nickels, and Indian head pennies, and I think this is uh, some of my um, really, really uh, extra fine um, copper pennies and other stuff. I got proof pennies and proof dollars and stuff like that. Well, two more puts me at 78 for the year. Oh, that's a full roll of 67s. So I'm doing good. It's just uh, 22 more, and I'll have my goal of 100 for a year. That's pretty cool. Oh, and uh, wish me happy birthday. July 19th is my 64th birthday. This is kind of neat. I just, I forget where I acquired this uh, little case, but it just fits perfectly my uh, old British oversized penny coins. I got them from back in the 1800s all the way up to more modern. I hope the light, I hope you can see that. I got a glare from the window this morning. Anyway, uh, I got a lot of room to add different things if I decide to. Pretty, pretty fun. And you just got little slots and they all separate little compartments. I started selling on eBay in 98. It's been a few years. And uh, I've, I've, I've acquired more things since then. But back then, I used to ship a lot of stuff overseas. And sometimes people would send me their money to pay for the items in their currency. <laughs> it was kind of cool and kind of useless in a way, but it was fun for me. And so I just started collecting it and then I've added to it. I've got some star notes and so older, older bills in there now. Up on top of the safe is my 2024 copper hoarding um, tucked up there. Working on my goal is 260 pounds for this year. Down underneath here, if you can see it, that's where I've got the 240 pounds. Um, and it's just packing material for the packages I got to ship out. But in the safe over there, I've got the pennies and nickels, and I need to add a couple more. The uh, 1941 and newer pennies because that one is the one only got one and it's uh, it's down to one penny and i need to get a few more but i hate paying retail i like to find it like somebody's getting rid of some used or something like that i just hate paying you know eight bucks to put 60 pennies in or whatever it just just me <laughs> uh this year's um silver i got the gold for 100 Oh, somebody knocking on my door. Hold on. I just took that one down in here. This is just plastic cases that I've got that I keep coins in. Just 
different things, buffalo nickels. I think those are all have dates on them. Uh, some foreign coins that came in, I got in, I think, half dollars. Just oddball stuff, you know, that I keep. More buffalo nickels. Anyway, that's what I got. Over here, this is my Canadian. Um, this is my rolls and rolls of Canadian that are broken down in the three different um, weights of the, the copper Canadian coins. Underneath here is my Jefferson nickels. That's almost completely full of rolls uh, from 19... 38 to 1959. Uh, there's also a couple of rolls, uh, maybe three or four rolls of uh, dateless buffalo nickels. Um, I have found quite a few of those over the years. <laughs> lots and lots of half dollars uh, proofs and NIFCs and commemoratives and the gold-plated ones, stuff like that. What do we have here? Wheat rolls and rolls and rolls of wheat pennies. I used to have a few rolls of 2009, but I don't have room for them anymore, so I've got them elsewhere. Ike dollars, got a couple hundred of those. You know, just stuff like that. My drawer under the safe, it's just little cases of stuff. I got one with just flips. Uh, I think I got two of them with flips in it, just ready to put coins in. Back there, I got my a bunch of... Um, foreign coins in one and then um tokens in one because whenever i find tokens in coin machines or in my coin roll hunts i just I put them away and some of them are pretty cool some of them are pretty stupid but um it's fun just to keep them i had a whole bunch more foreign coins but i ran across somebody a few years ago who was really into them so i sold him a bag of foreign coins i if they're silver i don't keep them in there i keep them in my silver boxes. So I try to weed those out, make sure I don't have those in there. Arrowheads, just different stuff. Anyway, it's kind of fun having all the storage.